The Dashboard Crumble Dashboard gives you a ton of useful insights on how your workflow is progressing by keeping track of your board activity. Out-of-the-box reports with dynamic filter options to help you make better decisions without any configuration needed. Let's check out the different charts, options and filters in detail to help you improve your conversion rate. The Funnel Chart The funnel represents the stages of the journey a card will make in your sales board to convert your leads to a one deal. But it also applies to a support desk or order management scenario. Regardless of what process you manage, the funnel graph will tell you what conversion rate you have from one stage to another. This basically means that the funnel chart will tell you the total amount of cards that have been in every stage at some point. Not to be mistaken with the donut that shows the number of cards that are in a list in a specific moment. This chart is especially useful to help you detect bottlenecks or problems in a certain stage to help you change your strategy and improve your conversion rate. The Donut Chart The Donut Chart shows you how many cards are in every list the very moment of checking the report. Every list that has been connected to Crumble in Settings and checked with the Show in Report option appears as a portion of the donut with its corresponding color. KPIs KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. Crumble's dashboard lets you customize a few KPI indicators to be able to check on the spot the percentage of leads that are in a certain stages. You can select which stage of the process you'd like to see in each KPI placeholder by using the drop-down selector. The Timeline Chart The Timeline Chart will show you the lead creation flow using the creation date registered with every card. You can select different time spans in the date selector you'll find at the header of your dashboard. This will help you focus your reports just on the cards that have been created during a specific period. Drag and select a specific portion of the timeline to zoom. The Bars Chart By default, the Bar Chart shows the Source Field Options Cache History. You can select any other drop-down field that you have configured in Crumble Field Settings. This chart represents every selected option available in the drop-down field with horizontal bars. Want to only see one stage? Easy. Click on a donut section and the bars will only show results regarding that specific stage. To deselect a stage, just click on the logo in the center of the donut. Members and Labels With Trello, you can add board members to your cards. This way you can assign each lead to a specific teammate. This comes in handy to get notice when something happens on a card assigned to you. You can also apply a search filter using the search option you'll find in the board menu to focus just on your cards. In the search menu option, pick your member. Trello will show you just the cards you have been assigned to. This green message will tell you that a filter has been applied and how many cards applied to the active filter. In this case, 14 cards belonging to Liam are visible on the board. Simply click the cross to deactivate the filter. Crumble takes advantage of this feature and lets you filter your report by member or labels. For the sake of easy demoing, this board has been pre-populated with 32 leads, each one with a deal value of $100. If we filter by member Liam, we will see that the total deal value of the board now changes from 3200 to 1400. In case you have additional numeric type of crumble fields, like budget for instance, you can select them as well in the dashboard to see their totals. Remember that any field configuration or filter can be saved. Labels in Trello help you organize your cards in an easy and visual way. Very much like with members, Trello lets you filter by the labels you have applied to the cards using again the search option in the board menu. Although Crumble offers drop-down fields to indicate lead source or status, sometimes you would want to apply an additional layer of segmentation that visually stands out on those cards you need to pay special attention to. 
In this example, we have labeled some cards with the recurring label. This not only makes those cards stand out from the rest, but you'll also be able now to filter your board by this label to focus on just those cards. Now, the report will give you valuable insights like the total amount of deal value that Liam is dealing with on recurring clients, also in what stages those leads are and which source they've been created from. The timeline chart will tell you on what date those leads were created And if you hover over each donut segment or bar chart element, Crumble will give you a sum of the total deal value of that segment in particular. 